Okay. Good evening to you all. Today is our the 46 of this three month data analytics bootcamp. Like I said, this bootcamp will last for about three months, and today is the 46. So, as usual, we started by showing our outline. That's what we are to go over for the day. So, we will have a recap of what we did yesterday, and we will continue also with conditional formatting today. So uh, if you can recall yesterday, we did uh, things that has to do with highlighting a particular criteria. That means whenever something uh, fulfill a particular condition, it will be highlighted, highlighted based on the color you want it to be. For example, if you want it to be red, green, yellow, whatever color you want to choose, you just make that color to appear as what conditionally formatted color to that particular cell. So we did uh, greater than, less than, equal to, between, text, dates, and also we did duplicate. This is what we did yesterday, and I believe each and every one of you try as much as you can to create as such, because like I told you, creating this conditional formatting is one of the method or simpler way of creating a a mini, I can call it mini visualization about the data or in order for you to trace a lot of things related to data. So um, especially when it has to do with coloring, uh, maybe the lowest or coloring the largest or coloring the this and that. So that's what you should learn from this. So today we are going to check, um, you know, a, uh, to dwell inside this uh, conditional format and also uh, so that you learn more about it. You learn more on how to create many things related to this conditional formatting. Like I said, I think um tomorrow also we are going to kind of um uh do it again, which will be more advanced than what we did uh, yesterday and what we are going to do today. So still, we are still in conditional formatting. So let's just uh see what we are going to deal with today. So um, let me open the data. I think, don't we have any data? I think we need, we have a data that is not that much. Okay, let me just copy a data like um, this. Let me just come under here so that I'll just copy something that we never used. So let me just copy this. Okay, okay I'll just paste it here. I'll change this to country salary yeah i don't need id so i will leave it so that we'll just work what we want like this so like i like uh what we did yesterday uh it has to do with um you know like i said the coloring greater than and equal to so we'll move to this top today for the, for the first thing we are going to talk about is it has to do with top 10 items so in your data if you want the top 10 Based on this data, you see, we have about 17 people. If you want to have the top 10 in this particular data, the color that you want the top 10 to, and let me just copy some more so that we'll have more data to show. So let me just copy some more. Okay, let's copy this. So like this. So we have this as our top. We need top four out of the range of the salary. That is top 10 salary that's what this means top 10 salary that's what we need to have so we want to let's say highlight them um in green so just click on this you see i will just change the color to green that means i highlight the top 10 so what anyone i saw with green is among the top 10 salary that we put in green so we can reduce the 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 kind of the topness that we need maybe we need it to be top five Maybe we need it to be top two or top three. Whatever we want, we can put it. But top 10 is the default by Excel. So now if I press OK, all these that you are seeing, these are the top 10. One, two, three. If you count it, it will give you 10 top salary out of the data. These are the top 10. So by default, you just go ahead and check the top 10 by default with this particular uh, uh, formatting that you just made. So that's the number one thing to do. So like I told you yesterday, if you want to clear... Okay, I didn't show you that yesterday. If you want to clear a format and after you did it, all you need to do is to come under here. You'll see clear rules. you see it. Click on it and just click on clear rules, either for selected cells or you want to clear it for the entire sheet. If you want to clear it for the entire sheet, 
you click this, but if you want to enter it for a specific column that you just selected, just click on it, this clear for the selected column. So now I clear the rule that I just created, the formatting that I just created. So the next thing is top 10%. So now it has to do with the percent. So this top 10%, you see, it has to do with percentage. Now we are dealing with percentage. So these are the, the people that are more than 10%, top 10, they are, they are up to 10%. Only one, two, three, four, five, only five of them are up to 10%. Let's just get that, uh, let's see if we get it correctly. Let me show you how we did that. So we are just going to get total, let me just say equals to sum, open bracket, so we highlight everything like this. So we get the sum, so this, Let's check this. We say equals to this divided by the total like this. So we we'll just say this. Let me just log the total F4. So I'll just drag it down so that I will see if these particular people are up to 10% of the data. So you see. Okay, sorry. Okay. So now, why, what this means, sorry, this is not what it means. It means um, this particular salary that we highlighted, these five of them, five of them that we highlighted are among the top 10 percentage out of the data. For example, now what it means is if you put all the data together, this particular, this 121 million, 99 million, it says this and this five are among the top 10 percent that is top 10 percentage of the data that what this percent, uh, uh, particular percentage means if we compare the data with this uh, uh five data that just highlighted okay let me just click on it again let me see i need top one okay sorry let me just make it top one okay i didn't highlight it sorry let me just make it top one okay let me clear the rule first so i just want one so I'll make it one, I'll turn it to green. Okay, yeah, so it will give us this because this is the total, I'll remove the total again. So we, so we'll put one, I'll put green, okay. So which one is top one? So the top one is the highest salary, that's the highest top percentage, that is the first 1% of the data, the entire data is taking this. So let me just put 2% and see, it will give us two of the of it. So two. So still this is taking 2% of the data. So what this, sorry, I need to tell you all about this. Let me see, um, some open brackets. It's uh yeah, so this is it. If I said equal to this minus this, it will give us this. Yes. So yeah, so this top deep top ten percent is is showing is showing that this particular data that we are seeing is out is among the. 1% of the entire data, that's what is showing, or is among the, so when I put 2%, it's still the 2%. If I put 3%, it's still the 3%. Up till when I put 10%, that what it will add some data to me to make it up to maybe top 10% of the entire data. Then it will select this particular uh, data that we just selected. So that's for this top, uh, I think top percent. So then I'll talk about this bottom 10. This bottom 10 has to be with the lowest 10. Like what, when we want to get the lowest 10, when you use, uh, for example, small, in order for you to get the lowest. So it, it, this uh, bottom 10 will give you the bottom 10 of the data. So if I click OK, now you will see these are the bottom 10. All the highlighted red are the bottom 10 out of the data. That is all these 14 million, this and that are the bottom 10 of the data. So let me clear the rule again, sorry. Sorry. So now for this uh, particular bottom 10%, that is bottom 10%, this is it here. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, this, this particular uh, percentage, 
this bottom percent, sorry, sorry, there's something that we miss. I know and I can feel it. This percentage, this top percent only works on percentage. Sorry, please. It only works on percentage. It's, it works on percentage. That's where it works. So now, for example, if I get the percentage of this data, sorry, let me just get the total again. If I get the percentage of this data, so now I want to get the percentage. I will just say this divided by this. Just watch it. So it's all, we can only apply it on the percentage. I will lock this. Then I will just drag it. Yeah, like this. Then I will put the percentage. So now let's say, for example, I want to highlight. Okay, let me add this. So let's say I want to highlight 2%. I want to highlight the 2% out of this. Top 10 percentage out of this. You see, this, this is what it will show. Let me make it red green okay so we have this you see these are the top that we have these are the best top that we have out of the data let me just reduce it to not 10 percent because we don't even have 10 percent let me just make it two percent these are the top ten, top two percent of the data that is showing us or uh, uh, in the percentage so these particular things i think we work it Definitely you work it with percentage. This top percent and bottom percentage, you work with it in percentage. That's how we use it. You work with it in, in percentage. So the next thing is to select the average. Let me select this. It has to do with the average. That is above average and below average. Let's just select the above average. So the above average are in green. Let me just select it. So anyone that you see in green is above the average. So let's get our average and see whether this particular data is above the average. So I'll just say average this, then I'll highlight the entire data, I'll click enter. So anyone that is above 57,454,000 ,000 million data that like this is above this particular average, that one is in green. So that one is show us this particular above average. So we see the above average data that we need. So that's the above average. So we need, uh, for example, anyone that is below average, let me clear the rule, then we will make it below average. Let's just select the below average. So you see all the red ones are below average because they are what? They are below this particular 57454. They are below it. That way all of them are below average. That's what is showing the below average of the data. Okay, sorry. The reason why we have a lot in red is because I add the total in the data. Let me clear the rule. Okay, so let's deselect the total. Let's just make the below average and see. So these are the below average. Let's click. Okay, yeah. So anyone in red is below 57 million. Anyone in red is below 57 million 454. So they are below below the average that the that why it highlighted them in red for you. So if you want to see even a cell that is below average, then you just highlight it automatically. So you are not, you don't worry yourself to go and get the average so that you compare the average with the data in order for you to know the below average. All you need to do is to conditionally format all the below average data. When you format it, then you are going to see the below average. Look at it. All these are below average because they are below 57,446,000. So all of these are below average. So that's for this uh, particular top bottom rules in conditional format. And the next thing is we are going to talk about data bars. So this data bars, let me just clear everything. Okay, this data bars has to do with, um, you know, creating a uh, inside cell bars for your data. So it will create that bar for you, which will look sometimes in some data, it's going to look awesome and make the data looks fine when you did it. And like I said, sometimes if you uh, create this particular bar, it's something that you even use in your visualization so that to show what, uh, uh, how it is, it's going to look like that, what you are going to uh, create. So let me just delete all this. I'm going to create something, okay, like this. So I'm just, let me just make everything in table. Okay, sorry. Let me make everything in table like this. Okay. So, so now, 
sorry. Okay, so now this, I want to create that particular bar here. Let's just apply the rule for the bar here. So when you click this data bar, it will automatically create a, a, a visualization that is inside cell visualization about your data. So we have gradient bar and we have solid. So let's just use the gradient first. Look at what it just created for us. Based on this data, okay, sorry, I shouldn't have put this particular uh, data because it will make it look somehow since we are going to use blue. So let me just put it again. So look at what we just created. Look at the way your data will look like. Look at it. This is how it's going to look like. It's going to look based on what, what is inside the column and the way the bar, that is the field of the bar is going to look like. That's what you created. That's what you just, you just created. So you see, this one that is full, that one is, this full one is shows that is the highest by default because it shows that this particular person is collecting the highest salary. So let me just sort it highest, that is largest to highest like this. You see, this is how the bar will look like. You see, this is how it looks like and this is how the bar will look like. Sometimes, like I told you, you can just highlight maybe top five and just create a visualization based on this. Then it will look like uh, that. So I'm just going to get rid of this so that you can see the remaining... Uh, uh, you see, you can put this color, you can put this, you can put this, you can put any one that you need. You can put this one and you can put solid color. You see, solid color didn't have uh, the gradient color in it. So it didn't have, uh, have that uh, gradient color in it. So, you... so that uh, that's how you used this, uh, this particular data bar that you can see. You just put it, put any one you want and automatically and automatically, sorry, please. Okay, so this is how you use this bus like this. So you just go ahead and create it just to create, to see what, how the data is going to look like. And this is what is going to be. So even if you put this, now if you change any number, for example, maybe to, to 100, for example, Sorry, okay, we don't we can't put anything since it's just a uh, drop down. So if you change it, definitely the bar will definitely change also. So that's how it looks uh like. So um the next thing is this color scale. So this color has to do with okay. Let me clear this rule first. This color scale this color scale has to do with creating a color based on your data it's just a color you are the one that create a color and that color will look will uh, automatically be in the data like this let me just click this first one you see this is what is just created from green it's just reducing you see you see it's just coming down it's coming down it's com that's how it's up till the last one which is red so this is how it looks like you just create uh, something about the data you see this is what people are going to see based on the data that you just have and you just create this particular color scale. So you can create this one, you see the way it looks like, you see that how it's going to be. So you can select any one. All this that we are doing, like I said, is just to give you a mini visualization about the data so that you just create something that will help uh, people to just see a particular thing about that particular uh, data. So that's what this is showing. So the next thing is the icon. So this particular icon that you are seeing, it will just create an icon for you showing a direction. So if, for example, maybe we are using a cell uh, record data, which has to do with, uh, you know, selling of something, it, it is something that will show you the falling and the rise of a particular commodity. So when I select this particular item, you see the top ones will be red showing under. These people are going under, they are going below. The top one is showing up, is going up, up. And the average one are showing this. So this is something particularly, the data will tell you this, that, okay, look at how this data is showing. The trending of the top up is showing up. This is green, is going up. But this one is going below within average. That one is showing uh, this yellow. And the bottom one is showing this down and it's showing red for you. So this is what this particular arrow will do for you. And you can uh, change the arrow 
you can put any arrow that you want and you can select any one. You see, you can put this one, you can put this one, you can put this one. You can even put, you can just come ahead and select any arrow depending on what you are doing and depending on the data given to you. You can even select this arrow that has to do with network bar. So you can select this, you can select this one that has to do with this. You see, there is one that is full, there is one that is this, and there is one that is empty at all. Look at them like this. So this is what it will show to you. It's because this data has to do with money and the money is much. That's why you are seeing it something like, uh, you know, uh, like this. But if it's something that has to do with um, uh, quantity of something that is not much, so it's some, it looks very awesome in uh, creating the visualization on that. So um, I think, I think, so you can use this star also because a lot of people are using star, I know. They are just creating this star to show a lot of uh, works for them. So they can use this, you can also use this star. So by default, you see, you can put this star and I put another thing, you can add anything that you want in this and create something awesome like this. You see what I just created? I put the star and then I followed it with gradient color so that to create something unique and something awesome in the uh, data. So by default, by default, this is exactly where we are going to stop today. This is where we are going to stop today, by default. This is where we are going to stop today. What will happen is that tomorrow, we are going to do the advanced way of this particular conditional formatting. I will show you some things in advanced way of this, because all we have done so far now has to do with all this, this uh, one, two, three, four, five that you are seeing. So tomorrow we are going to treat all these one, two, three, four, five, all of them, but we are going to do them in an advanced way. So that in a way that you are the one to create your own by yourself. To the extent that, for example, once, a, let's say, once there is a duplicate, duplicate in a particular data, you just want to strike it. Maybe you want your duplicate to be striked. That is to be like kind of canceled. To the extent that you don't want it, 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 it to just show that the duplicate is canceled. So when you want to create that, those particular rules, that's what we are going to create. Maybe we are going to even create rules that has to do with this icon. So maybe when someone puts a, a correct data, this particular icon will apply, it, will show a good. You see, this particular good, there, there will be a good. For example, maybe in the column when he did that, so something like that. So... uh. I think that what we are going to do tomorrow, the advanced way of creating this conditional formatting, then we can call it a day. And that's all with conditional formatting from tomorrow. So if you have any question, please, you can ask your question. If you have a question, you can ask in the chat. Yes, you are to present. If if I gave you assignment related to this conditional formatting, you are to present your data based on this. Because like I said, you are going to create visualization of the data. Sometimes you are going to see a data. Let me just show you something. Sometimes you will see a data, a table, a complete table in this. Let me just do something. Now we can create it here. Maybe if we have another data that has to do with number. I don't have lots. Uh, most of number data here today. 
I don't have that. I don't have that. Okay, if someone use conditional formatting of top 10, can a stakeholder organization understand it by mere looking, or are we going to describe what we have done in the report part? Yes, you are going to uh, explain that. For example, in the uh, when you are sharing, maybe you are not sharing visualization that has to do with chat. Even if you are sharing visualization with chat, you can create conditional formatting with the entire table that you have. I'm going to, you're going to see that a lot of that you are going to learn from it. So when you create that from the top of your data, you are to explain a color of maybe green is showing top 10, maybe color of red is showing bottom 10, maybe this and that you are going to explain so that uh, when they are looking, I when stakeholder is looking at the table, you will understand what you are showing or what you are trying to show. Because this continuous formatting will color your data and will make it look very awesome and it will make your table look great. So that by me looking at the table, the table itself is a formatic uh, table. So it's showing uh, a lot of things and giving a description of different things. Yeah, we'll talk about charts later. When we start talking about the charts, we will discuss about the charts. Then you can turn that uh, to create a chart based on that but now when you create this particular band it will remain the way it is like that you cannot turn it to chart okay please if you have a question you can ask this is where we are going to stop today If you have a question, you can ask. Thank you, sir. Thank you. To use. I didn't get to Muhammad Ahmad. You just said to use. You didn't say anything. Muhammad, Ahmad. So please go ahead and start practicing. Please get a data with different rows. That is not only this salary, no data with different numbers, maybe January, February, March, April, May, June. Please go ahead and put all these colors of conditional formatting to see how it's going to look like. Please go ahead and use all these conditions, please. Use them, practice them, and see how your table will look like. Maybe that one I should just be expecting in the, uh, I should just expect in the group, please. Just try that. Let's see what we you can do with it. Because conditional formatting is something that you should try and start using right from now, so that something will look uh, very awesome when you create uh, the data. So I think, I think, let me, I'm sharing something with you right away. I'll share something with you. I'll share something with you in the group. So you're going to just look at it and see what how they just create the visualization. I will send uh different uh visualization of it to you. So that you can see it and it will help you. Thank you. 
Okay. So I think let's stop here. I'm just sending the some info to you. So you can check the group, you will see it. So go ahead, please try as much as you can to start creating things like that because this has to do with just customizing the table and making it look awesome. So I just dropped some pictures to you in the group. Let me open the group so that when some of you try something, you can drop it so that we can just go ahead and view it together and see what you have done. And at least, please, when you draw, when you are dropping yours, explain what you have done. Don't just uh, drop uh, pictures like that anyhow. Just explain what you drop to us so that we will see how it's representing the explanation you just put under. So I think let's call it a day so we meet tomorrow. God bless you and have a nice dream. Thank you, sir. Good night, sir. Thank you so much. Good night.